What up, slackers? And welcome to that camp. So in this video, we're going to talk about esters. So what is an ester? Uh, so these are some examples of esters. So yeah, methyl butanoate, you can find it in pineapples, isopentyl acetate in bananas, and triglyceride in human fat or just animal fat. Um, so you can see a carbonyl group attached to an oxygen, and that attaches to an other, to another carbon chain, and that makes up an ester group. So there are three main ways of preparing an ester from carboxylic acid. So you can see the first way is using a primary alkyl halide, and um, this method is limited to uh, primary alkyl halide, so you can't use a secondary or tertiary alkyl halide. So the second way, which is a better way to do it, is by using a simple alcohol. So you can see here, SN2 reaction, the OH gets substituted by the OR group. And um, this is probably a safer, now we're starting, starting to talk about green chemistry, and you know, alkyl halide is very dangerous, so it's probably better to use ROH. And um, this is called a Fischer esterification, using the ROH. And the last way is you react with SOCl2, so again, SN2 reaction, you substitute the OH with Cl, and then it further reacts with uh, ROH in a base, and you get another substitution. And um, for just like a lazy college student, you'll probably use these two, but if you're a professional chemist, then you would probably use this. It's a more general method, it's not limited by anything. So now we're going to talk about um, hydrolysis of an ester in a basic condition uh, to make carboxylic acid. So this is called saponification, the making of a soap. So we're going to talk about the specific mechanism of this reaction. So first you have the nucleophile attacking the carbonyl, so you unform the carbonyl, the double bond. So now you have tetrahedral. So what happens is the electron on the oxygen comes back to reform the carbonyl and that kicks off the OET. Now you might be wondering, um, how would you know which group would leave? Because you know the OH can leave, the CH3 can leave, why is it just that the OET is leaving? Now if you think about it, this oxygen cannot leave because it's already charged negatively. If more electron goes onto it, it would be super negatively charged, which is very unstable, so not likely to happen. And CH3, you should know by now that CH3 is not a good leaving group. It doesn't carry electron very well. It's not very electronegative. Um, now OH, well the OH just came on in the previous step, so why would it want to leave? It just arrived at the party. If it just leaves, there's no point in doing this. So that leaves you with the OET, and that is why the OET leaves instead of the other group. Now, so here you make a carboxylic acid and your OET negatively charged, it just left. And actually, there's something wrong with this picture. See if you can point it out. I'm talking about the product. There's something wrong with the product. 